very greetings to each and every one of us. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we give glory to Him for giving us this privilege to be alive today, ill and hearty. Many people were not given this opportunity to be alive today. They are already dead. But here we are in the presence of God. And also giving us the privilege to speak from His Word and to learn from His words. May His name be praised forever in our lives in the name of Jesus. Today is another day for us to say one or two things about the Word of God. Because, like I always say, the Word of God is light. A life without the Word is a fruitless life. Today we are going to speak from the book of Matthew, chapter 25, beginning from verse 34 to 43. Matthew 25, verse 34 to 43. Read us. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come, ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom, prepare for you from the foundation of the world. For I was an hungry, and you gave me meat. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, you took me in. I was naked, and ye clothed me. I was sick, and ye visited me. I was in prison, and ye came unto me. Then shall the righteous answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee an hungry, and fed thee, or tasty, and gave thee drink? When saw we thee a stranger, and took thee in, or naked? And clothe thee. Or when saw we sick, we did sick, or in prison, and came unto thee. And the king shall answer and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, Inasmuch you have done it unto one of the least of these of my brethren, ye have done unto me. Then shall he say unto them on the left hand, Depart from me, ye cursed into everlasting fire. Prepare for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me no meat. I was thirsty, you gave me no drink. I was a stranger, and ye took me not in. I was naked, and ye clothed me not, sick and in prison, and ye visited me not. Hallelujah. If we look at this verse, from verse uh, 34 to 43, it was the word of Christ. He said, when I was hungry, you gave me meat. When I was thirsty, you gave me drink. This will take me to the theme of my sermon today, which is charity. Charity. Charity means love. Charity means care. When you are able to think of others, when you are able to lend a hand of love or stretch a hand of love unto others not thinking only about yourself when you are not self-centered you think about the welfare of others out of the abundance god has given you you are able to give unto others because whatever you have in this world 
whatever abundance God has given you is not meant for only you. It is meant to care about others. From this passage, it shows the essence of care and love about our fellow human beings. In which way are we stretching our hand of care to others? Are we not despising our brothers? Do we care about others? In everything we do, do we care about others? Do we love our neighbors? Have we been able to do what Christ told us to do? If you look at this passage, you can see that it is very important to care about others. It is very important to show love by providing needs for others out of your abundance. Don't be selfish. If you are selfish, if you think you are a good worshipper, you worship day and night, you have not attached charity to it by love and care about others. You have not fulfilled what Christ asked us to do. And this might be a stumbling block for you to make heaven. We have to be very careful the way we run our lives. We have to be very careful in terms of what God has given us in abundance. Try to show love to others so that you will inherit this earth and in heaven you will be counted worthy. Don't let your selfishness make you make it to be a stumbling block when you get to heaven. You might be thinking you have fulfilled all righteousness, but without care to others, you are still lacking some things that can be a stumbling block for you in heaven. Let's go to Psalm 41, verse 1. Psalm 41, verse 1 says, Blessed is he that considereth the poor, the Lord will deliver him in times of trouble. Verse 2 says, The Lord will perceive, preserve him and keep him alive, and he shall be blessed upon the earth. Blessed is he that considereth. Let us be considerate in times of our blessings. Let us think of the one, the motherless babies around us. Let us visit them, give them word of comfort, from out of our, uh, out of our substance, out of our blessings God has given us. Let us stretch it to God, to them, so that our sojourn on earth and in heaven, at the end of the day of our life, will be. A fruitful one for us and I pray today that the blessing of God will be unto us and the Lord will continue to minister unto us in Jesus name God bless you all